Hello Vikings, welcome back to Stationers. It's been a while. Um, yeah, so the reason why I've been off air on the channel for so long is because we took a move to Bristol. I started a new job and yeah, we've just slowly been getting ourselves sorted and the arrival of our new little one as well. So now a family of four so we've had a lot to adjust to so let's just one sec sort this box out um so yeah it's been a while and it's been a bit hectic we're finally in our own place um and i've got my little office space set up so i'm able to start recording again for you guys so what i wanted to do was kick off a new series of stationers and start with a whole new series so now we're on Mars. Now there has been a whole load of updates to this game while I've not been playing it. So it's gonna take some getting used to. Um, I'll try and explain them as we go along. Like one of the things is we now can use the mouse to select and drag items around. So that's pretty nifty. Um, also there's now filters can waste. So that's another thing we're gonna have to keep track of um, you can also move these around but we'll put them back for the moment and close all of them right so first thing we need to do um, is get the basics set up so I try not to make it too repetitive as what it was last time um, but what I will do this time is show um, some of like the solar setup so what we want first is to get the solar up and running um, because that is the first thing we're gonna I, I'm rambling at the moment and scrambling to find stuff oh there is two organic boxes that's interesting with flowers plenty more cereal bars um, again the food is still a factor I've left it nice and low for the moment um, but I will up it um, if I see a necessity to up it uh, but at the moment I just while I explain things and start getting stuff built um, I just wanted to keep it nice and simple and keep the food situation on the low until I can get hydroponics built so the first thing we need to do is let's lay out a little a little foundation shall we um, looks like the Sun is going to be set in there so another thing you need to concentrate on as well now is that there's an actual tilt to the Sun so when it comes to putting solar panels in it's going to be um, apparently you have to take into account the tilt so electronic wise handling the auto of it, um, the automation of the solar tracking is going to be slightly different. So we will cover that and get to that. But first, I just want to build the basics, and I am trying to remember how to actually play this. <laughs> so, and I don't need that. I need this. Yep, and then if I close this and on with this and then construct with that, that's the one. So I hope there's still some of you left to watch this. If not, um, I'm sure you'll come back once you see the notifications of the video start filling up again. I don't know what else I'm going to play to begin with. I am just going to concentrate on this to start with and see how many episodes I can get out. Um, so that should be good to put solar panels there, I think. And then we'll have a little workstation over here. So yeah, so I don't know quite how often these are gonna be coming out to be on with. Um, we'll, we'll just take it from here and see. Um, so why are you dropping? Uh, should get this organic box out of the way, shall we, for now. And right, let's get this solar panel up. So we don't need those solar panel. And right, what we 
got scroll off my options. Nope. Oh yeah, apparently you could do auto placement or auto rotate. Um, not too sure. But we'll stick the first one there, shall we? Like so. And let's get a glass panel in there. Do, 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 do. Finish that. Right. What we want is. I need that. And because we already know we're going to have multiple of these. So put that there. And then we're going to have straight. And we'll just lay this out. Do, 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 do. Right, actually, um, just trying to think where we'll put the electronics to begin with. Uh, electronics should be fine here. Out of four. So. Oh, I keep getting the wrong balance. It's going to be interesting. Put a junction there. Right, let's do that for now. Uh, right, what else have we got? Um, so, hold that there. And then what we're actually going to have is a power controller. Control going that way. Don't need that. Um, furnace. Wall. Nope. Um, where's the charger? You want to start with a battery charger this time? I think I'm missing a box. Oh, it's down here. Battery cell charger. That's what I wanted. So we're going to have. This is just all going to be interim stuff. Not really. Mm. I thought maybe you could. Nope. So we have this here, and then cabling. What did I do with the cabling? So what we're gonna do is get this laid out first, and then we'll start with some. Right, we're gonna put the oil lathe there, I think. So, because we are going to need that, put that down there. Right, let's put these over here. Okay, put this down. As you can see, there's a bit of a vacuum because on Mars there is a bit of. Um, atmosphere, very small atmosphere, but from what I've been seeing, it enables you to actually use that to some effect and get free resources in the fact of gases. So we'll try and make full use of that if and when we can. Um, right, let's see. Been nine minutes and we haven't done a whole lot. Um, next, we need. I'm not quite sure what I actually need to build. Um, uh, 
Not what I need to build, or what I actually need to build. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, electronics, actually, to get the, ele uh, the electronics side of things actually working. That's what I'm thinking about. Uh, probably didn't actually need that, but it's done now. It's done. Don't worry about it. Right, let's see. I'm going to have to go mining, I suppose. Yes, I would have thought I'm going to have to go do that. So, uh, that's that, that, that. Um, so, we can do this manually, I suppose, still. Apparently, you can click on this now. Oh, this. So, we need uh, arc furnace, centrifuge, shoots, cladding, um, electronics printer. And for that, we're going to need iron, gold, and copper. Great. None of which we got. So, we're going to need arc furnace. We are going to need that. We'll stick that there for the moment. And then we'll run this down here. And right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do some mining. Um, very boring stuff. And I'll cut back when I have completed that. So I will see you in a bit. Right, so we're back. I've done some mining. Um, what I did as well is I put the built the electro print and made some one memory chip and three IOs. So how it's basically gonna work, I have been mainly tracking the sun as we go, um, just to keep the batteries up and going. Um, I've got my light, light off. Right, I have my light off for some reason. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the memory in there because we can have it there. And then what we want is a um, a logic reader honest doesn't really matter I don't think which way around it goes uh, we want a batch writer which can go that way and we need a logic reader which to be fair it can go like that um, Yep, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut that for now, um, and we're going to hook this up like so, and this can be a corner, put a corner there. Um, this needs to be a junction. Um, that needs to be a junction, I think, or not, no it doesn't, oh that's shame, and that does not need to be a junction either, um, hmm, 
I am terrible at this. Probably haven't actually made enough cable. So that needs to be a junction and chain. That could be a corner. That needs to be a junction. Uh, let's right. Let's make some more cable coil, and I'll be back with you. Right. So it's probably not the prettiest, but I've laid the rest of the cable down. So what we want to do now is we don't want a hundred. We need to set this to one point eight because we need to divide the solar angle, which is what we're going to get off the daylight center. We need to divide that by 100 because this only works in 100%. Is it 180? Mm. Let's have a quick look. So, yeah, so this only works in, yeah, 100%, whereas solar angle works in 180. So we need to divide that. So what we're going to do is we're going to and then we're going to put that to one point eight. That's not good. Um, let's change this over. So now uh, that's now reading one point eight. Uh, right, logic reader is going to read. Uh, daylight sensor and it's going to read the solar angle and the batch writer is going to output oh, to the solar panel uh, let's find it and it's going to write the vertical and going to get the input from logic. Uh, I don't know why I put logic reader down. I need logic math. So um, let's get this logic. Ah, uh, that's not what I needed. Oh dear. Switch trigger plate security logic IO the logic processor to gold to copper. Got plenty of gold, so we've got any copper left. Hmm, got a little bit. I think it's this one I need. I think. Let's see. enough yeah there we go logic math and I'm gonna need some more cable coil because I'm a genius uh, so let's get this to knock up some more cable coil okay because this up as I do from time to time that's plenty of that like I said I haven't played this in ages and I watched a couple of videos of some other people playing it and yeah I figured well let's get back into it but I need to start I forgot how much intense how intense it can be to get things up and running right let's put that back in there Get that out. Let's put that back in there because we don't need it. All right. So, so, what did I say this was? So, solar panel, vertical, and logic math. There we go. And then this is going to be 
this is going to logic reader and it's going to take uh, the memory and it's going to divide okay so if I switch this all on huh sorry this is not getting power what have I done wrong what have I done wrong ah that's what I've done wrong it's on the wrong bloody side of that. Ah, uh, really? Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. That's not what we wanted. Hmm. Yeah, because see, it's now it's not getting no power. That's a rookie, rookie mistake. What I can do is probably move everything down one. So let's put that there. Let's put that there. Let's put you there. Let's put you there. It's not getting any power and it needs its own power. Which is not a problem, actually. Right, one sec. I'll do a little bit of rejigging and I'll be back with you momentarily. Right, we've done some rejigging around and. Oh, the solar panel is coming to life, but it is facing the wrong way. So all we need to do is nope, nope. There we go. Now it should be tracking just fine. There we go. So just to recap what we got I've seen this in a few videos but um, I want to actually give a shout out to where I've seen this um, much better laid out actually um, guy called Grey Duster he does a lot of um, sim type videos as well so this is where I've got the actual bare bones of this from but I've seen it used in a few other videos um, it does seem to be the most basic way of doing it definitely a lot simpler than the last way I did it so basically you just set the memory up to 1.8 um, use the math unit to divide by um, divide by the memory unit um, I'll get the reader to read sorry the solar angle of the daylight sensor um, and then so you, you want to divide between the math the memory and the logic reader and then basically you want to take that sum and you want to write it to the solar angle that is it. If you want to explain in a little bit more detail about what's actually going on, um, drop me a comment and uh, I will try my best to make it a little bit more Light. Oh. understanding to you. Um, it's been so long since I've played this. Um, it's going to take me a while to get back into it. I have an idea of where I want it to go um, and how I want to build a base. So provided I can find all the resources I want on Mars I believe we should have a really good series on our hands here and it's going to be fun getting back into making videos for YouTube and for those of you out there watching so give me some comments let me know what you think um, sorry it's been a bit of a uh, bit of a hit in this episode it, it is going to get better I promise you um, let me know if I made the UI a bit too small um, I just wanted it a little bit more cleaner. Um, I'm happy I've got this tracking done. And let's just have a quick look. I think we don't need to worry about the tilt too much. Because by the time I put a row out, I think we'll be able to get away with it. Um, let's have a quick look at the efficiency. 84%. 
Oh, it's nowhere near what I had on the moon. Hmm. I don't know if that's the tilt that's not tracking it, or that'd be interesting. Interesting to see. I might need to put up some more solar panels. So let me know what you think. Um, leave a like if you want to, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Um, I am making a comeback. Let me know if there's any other games you want me to play. I do have a huge list if I don't have the game. Um, yeah, I'll see about getting it. I do have one of the newest games I've acquired is Frostpunk. So that's sort of like um, a city builder, sort of, if I dare say, survival game. Um, it's not really an RTS. So, yeah. Give me a shout out. Let me know what you think. And I'm going to stop rambling now. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thank you.